So we have come up with so many eloquent ideas in our society about how things work. What makes sense in our world? So uh, gravity and um, space and time. As we begin to expand out into the universe, it doesn't make sense. So it seems to make sense in our reality, in our universe, in our world, in the human world. But then, as we expand out into the universe, it doesn't make sense. So it doesn't fit. There's something like that. So anyway, we've got these two different scientific mo modes: one that fits with the universe and space and time, and then one that fits with um, the human world and the way that we see things, and then it doesn't quite match. And I think an example of that, oh my goodness, I'm really making this up. Please, you can write and comment in Skype and tell me, or you can tell me on the comments below. You can tell me the actual, actual explanation. And it's something like, like a reflection of that is that if you got onto an aeroplane and you went around the world, you would lose seconds. So you you go you go actually faster if you go around the world in an aeroplane. Oh man, this is really a disaster. Okay, forget that. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is our ideas, the way we think the world is, the way we think life is, isn't actually the way that life is. Like life is so much more magical and mysterious than what we give it credit. Like we have all our con uh, all our concepts of this is the way that is, this is the what this is, this is the psychology of the human, and there's so much more happening. So if you take psychology of the human, we only look at psychology in terms of what we want our society to be. So we want our society to be families that have children, so a woman and a man that have children, and um, or well, this was the original model, this is originally what we thought was sanity, to have children and then to grow up in this society that's all about production, so in this current society. And our, society, our psychology bases us on, bases its conclusions on that, on the way that it um, sees us in relation to how we're fitting in with our environment, how we're fitting in with our society. And if we don't, then it's because we're mad or because there's something wrong with us. Whereas there's so much more at play happening. Um, for example, we are energetic beings, so we're communicating energetically as well as mentally and verbally. Um, beingness, presence, that there's peace in beingness and in presence, that the, the point of life isn't about production. Humans have forgotten that and they've got into this mode where they're like, we've got to produce, 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 produce. Like, um, that's not the point of our life. I, I was going to say, I don't know what the point of our life is. Maybe creativity or to not human creativity, but for life's point is creativity, like creating. But it's kind of like, can't find that like a, you begin to pull it, it's like a, a string falling loose from a sweater and you begin to pull it and everything begins to unravel. And if psychologists or scientists began to incorporate things like energy bodies and that everything has an energy, um, that maybe there is no free will. Scientists have begun to discover that, but they um, they overlook it. Uh, that we don't actually know what goodness and badness is. We know what goodness and badness is in relation to our society's model and what we think is good. Our society thinks a good woman is someone that gets married and has kids and um, behaves in a particular way. I think that's beginning to change, but that's predominantly still what society sees a good woman, a successful woman to be. Um, yeah, like if you take in all the countries of the whole entire world, I'd say that's like the predominant belief. And a man is someone that produces for his family. And people that don't do that, they're a bit weird or there's something wrong with them. In some societies, they even maybe get killed. 
Um, and, and so the way we look at our world and the way we look at each other is through all these indoctrinations that we believe are true. You could say that our society and our world is a cult. Like it's a cult belief, it's not true. We've made up the words, we've made up all the rules and we've made up the parameters of what good and bad is. You know, 200 years ago, it was bad to be gay. I mean, it's still bad to be gay in our society, but I mean, it was like punishable by death, I think, in Western society or imprisonment, maybe just imprisonment. Um, you know, 200 years ago, we'd have thought it was impossible that we carry around a little box in our pocket and we could speak to anyone, eh, anywhere in the world and we can find out all types of information in it um, and and we believe dis-ease disease is caused often by not being clean enough um, by not having the right medicines. And I don't believe that. Like we don't take into account like people's thought processes, the way they think, the way they look at the world as to how that affects disease, how that affects their life, how that affects their surroundings. I mean, it could be as radical as that we are creating our world with our thoughts. I mean, scientists haven't ruled that out in quantum physics, there is, um, a part of it which talks about that a particle doesn't form a position, it's all possibilities, it's infinite possibilities until it's observed. So that's really, really far out, that's like mind boggling. So it's infinite possibilities until it's observed, so the observer then has an effect on it. And then you could say, well, what is the observer? which is true, what is the observer? But basically, everything that you think you know about life, everything you think you know about goodness and badness and right and wrong and the way things should be or shouldn't be, is all in your mind and can create infinite delusions. There's nothing wrong with all of it. It's just that it sends you down a track of um, believing in this world. And there's nothing wrong with that as well. It's just that there is something beyond what you believe. And if you're always lost in beliefs, then you can't tap into or you can't remember that place that's free, that's here. Like who you are is free, you're free, your essence is free, it's not bound to a word, it's not bound to your past or to your future, 